What is going on everybody? My name is Dakota and welcome back to Coda's Clones. Today we're going to be looking at Azaro Wanted Tonic. All right, so summer is fully upon us. It is August here in Oklahoma. It is blistering hot, which means it is always good for blue, fresh, aquatic, green scents. Um, in any particular order, some people like fresh, some people prefer aquatic, some people want greens. That's all good. And I found this. I picked this up from, I think, Joma Shop for $26. Let's get into the breakdown of it. All right, so one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna show off the atomizer here. That way you get a, yeah, a normal Azaro atomizer. It's it's very good. The bottle on this one actually, the bottle on this one is very clean. I'm really liking that silver uh, revolver cylinder up top. So what we're gonna do is put a little put a little spritz there on the wrist, get that drawn down just a little, and then uh, so uh, the opening on this. A little harsh as far as note breakdown azaro doesn't give you very many notes but as this is drying down a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing spinning we'll talk about the notes in just a second all right real quick before i forget i wanted to kind of do a little box breakdown i kind of like doing this so the box on this one is very clean very nice also very simple you're gonna have that infamous one of you're gonna have that infamous wanted logo right there on top. Pretty much gives you everything you need to know on the top as it does the front. You know, name, logo, you know, as obviously as RO makes this. This is a eau de toilette. Um, I bought the 100 mil bottle because that was, oddly enough, the 100 mil was cheaper than the 50 mil. But, you know, other than that, you know, nothing, nothing on any other side other than the front. Nothing real crazy on the bottom. And if anybody really just really wants to know, the batch number on this one is going to be 09492230. Kind of, kind of a longer batch number there. But, yeah, I mean, that's, that's about all that's on here. No, doesn't give you any hypoallergenic stuff. Doesn't really give you, like, a recycle or nothing. Kind of the more simple and plain bottle boxes that they've had. All right, we're going to start out. We're going to start out looking at the top. Azaro still continuing with the old revolver, with the revolver look. Me, personally, I really like this bottle. It was it was a little bit dicey. It was a little bit different. I can see how it would cause, you know, just a little bit of, just a little bit of issues given everything that continuously goes on. All right, got y'all better angle now. That way y'all can kind of see up a little better. So as far as the note breakdowns on this one goes, very simple. I, I wasn't able to find very many notes. Has a top note of lime, has a middle note of ginger, and has a base note of patchouli. Azaro is kind of infamous of not really putting out a lot of the notes that they prefer to use. I will say that this actually has kind of a woody freshness to it. The lime is very present. That that lime note is very strong. I don't really pick up a whole lot of the ginger. A little bit of patchouli, not much. Just I'm kind of being overwhelmed with the lime right now. Hopefully as this dries down a little bit, it'll start to die down a little bit. It'll get a little bit better. But yeah, a lot of people have said this is given more of like a citrus, warm, spicy, I could see that. This this was meant to be a summer clone. This was meant to be fresh take on what they do because, you know, Azaro is more so infamous not for their freshness of their colognes, but for the intensity of their colognes. I think the original wanted, uh, it was very, it was clean. It was fresh. It was very good. But, you know, as, as they've opened up to uh, Most Wanted by Night, Most Wanted EDP, Most Wanted Parfum, they have a very good line. It's just they're not really known for that summer fresh green kind of the kind of the route they do with this one. I, I do think this one is very much a standalone. Alrighty, so as I got done to this transition, I went ahead and waited about 15 minutes to let the fragrance try to dry down a little bit, let it kind of tame off a little bit. That lime is rough. So when you first spray this, the lime note that you get hit with, it's a little harsh. It's, it's very potent, very strong. I wouldn't say like annoying necessarily, but there's, it's very heavy. But as this dries down, some of the ginger and patchouli, more so the patchouli starts to kind of take take frontal note, which is fine, you know, so many clones and so many fragrances use patchouli because it smells nice, everybody likes it. It also works very good in fresh, citrusy style of cologne. Say that even though the lime's dried down, it's not faded off. So I, I do feel like that's where a lot of that citrusy comes from. There's some woody notes in here. I don't, I wouldn't know exactly what they would be with how clean and how fresh this cologne feels. 
Um, I would say that a, a cedar wood would probably be my best guess. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the pricing and availability of this. So retail, what retailers still had this, I wanna say they were charging north of 90 for this bottle and around 70 for the 50 mil. That was when it first came out. As of right now, I actually dug around online. I can't find a retailer that has this, which I'm not complaining about because I would not pay $100 for this. There is no chance I would spend $100 on this cologne. Not saying that it's bad. Definitely not worth a hundred dollar bill though. Most discounters, like I said, I got mine sub 30. So most discounters for a hundred mil bottle will carry this for around the 33 to 35 dollar range. 35 dollars, you'll probably buy this and you'll probably like it. For a hundred dollars, I would be extremely disappointed though. Performance wise, projection is okay. It's about a one to two foot projection. The sillage is okay. The few times I've worn this, it's lasted without layering. As, as everyone knows, if you've watched this channel enough, you know I do like to layer my cologne on itself. Um, I actually haven't done that with this one. Normally when I reach for this one, it's when I'm only going out of, when I'm only going out for a couple hours anyway, and I'm probably only reaching for this when it's hot. I've worn this a few times this summer, but the average wearability I get out of this is somewhere around three to four hours. It's not overly strong when you get to the dry down, but when this cologne first hits you, it's harsh. When you first spray it, it's harsh. After a couple minutes, it dries down and you're just heavy lime. After about the 15 to 20 minute range, a lot of that ginger and patchouli pull through. Some of the woody notes pull through. You end up with like this almost fresh, spicy. It's kind of warm. It's kind of woody. It's still green. It's still very much a summer fragrance. You're Nothing nothing about it's going to overpower you. It, it does fall down into, I don't want to say a soft fragrance, but it does fall down into an easily wearable fragrance. I think the biggest issue that a lot of people would have with this doesn't really have that Azaro signature to it. Like there's, it smells like a bunch of other fragrances that you probably already have or have probably already looked at and but for 20 for you know 25 to 35 dollars though this might be cheaper than some of the ones you're looking at so this might turn into a viable option for um but just me personally i have several fragrances that smell eerily similar to this there's nothing about this to me that would just stand out and make me want to grab this every time short of it being summer i'd say fragrance wise i'm ill prepared for summer a lot of the fragrances that i tend to wear and the ones that i tend to love are fragrances that are rummy vanilla tobacco tonka beans stuff like that that that's where that's where i tend to fall to on ones that that particularly work well on me so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all this bottle one last time for a final wrap up. Final thoughts on this one is if you can pick this up for the $35 range, you'll probably like it. It's it's not a great fragrance, but it's not a bad one either. It smells fresh, it smells clean. It's As it's dried all the way down, it has maybe a little bit of soapiness to it. Not, not heavy, but just a little. So for $35, you'll probably buy this. You'll probably really like it. For $100, if you, if you find this for $100 and you spend $100 for on this, you're probably gonna hate it. For $100, it smells like 50 other fragrances that's half the price. For $35, it smells like 50 other fragrances that might be a little cheaper. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my final wrap up on this right here. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone for subscribing. Thanks, thanks to everyone that sticks around and enjoys these videos. And as always, we'll see you next time.